a afro stretch. Make sure you girls are stretching at home, especially when we come back. We have to, you know, work on our dance, work on our tricks. So we're going to start in a little lunge. So remember not to have your knee in front of your toes because that will hurt your knee a lot. So just square it off. From here, you're going to bring your arm down and you're going to reach for the opposite hand with the leg. And you're going to grab your foot and try to stretch the quad. So the quad is the top of your leg right here. So if you're feeling that, you're doing it right. So just stretch for a few seconds. And then from there, you're going to push back. And remember not to bring your heel, I mean your butt, to your heel. From here, you're going to try to feel the stretch in your um, calf muscle and your hamstring. In the back, and you're kind of going to go as far down as you can. From here, you're going to switch sides. Switch. Make sure that knee isn't over your toes. Reach up, grab your foot, try to feel the stretch in your quad. Pull back, don't bring your heel to your butt. Try to flex your foot if you can. Try to bring, instead of bringing your head to your knee, try to bring your forehead to your shin. So you're getting a farther stretch. From here, let's do our little center squat. Make sure you're rocking back and forth. Stretch your back out. Try to get some cracks and kinks out. Here, we're gonna go center. If this is easy for you, bring your hands down, try to reach for your ankles, and try to pull through. So from here, you can bend a little bit to try to get a little bit looser from here, and then there, try to pull through. From here, while you're down there, you're going to reach to the right. Switch over to the left. Back to center. And our favorite part, we're going to do our splits. So we're going to start right. Make sure when you girls are doing your splits, we're not cheating out on our splits, yeah? So we're going to start center. Make sure your hips are square. Remember, when I say hips are square, it's facing the mirror straight through. So we're not rocking like this. We're not rocking like that. Everything is straight and center. From here, if you have your split, you're going to reach down. Stretch there for a little bit. Get comfortable. Come up. Try to bend back as far as you can. And up. Switch legs. Remember, keep your hips as square as possible. Here, reach forward, come up, then reach back, and up. And from here, we're going to work on our center splits. So start standing up, spread your legs out, hands down, and just slide down as far as you can. Stay there for two counts of eight. Try to get comfy. If you want, bring your elbows down to the mat or to the floor, whatever you're using. And then from there, straighten out. We're gonna reach over. And up. Reach over. And up. And when we go center, try not to round your back out. So we're not gonna go down like this. Yeah? Try reaching up. And then reach out, 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 out as far as you can. And then try to go as far down as you can. And just stay there. Once you realize you're done stretching, usually we like working on our bridges. So remember before we do anything, we all start, even if we can go a back walk over or whichever, we're all starting on the ground. Okay? So from here, we're going to just lay our feet out, tuck our knees up. Hands to the back, make sure our fingers are facing our toes, so they're not reaching out at the wall behind you, but they're facing in towards your toes. From there, once you're ready, you're going to push up and up. You're gonna rock back and forth, rock and back and forth. Make sure your fingers are still facing your toes. And then come down, tuck your knees in, Rock back and forth. And then one more time. Reach up and back. 
If you can, if you're up here and you're safe and you feel comfortable, try straightening your legs out. So what that means is, see how my legs are bent right now? Try straightening them out. You're gonna feel a stretch in your lower and middle back. And then you come down, stretch your back out. Come up from there, if that's okay. You girls are going to do your back walkovers, front walkovers, all that good stuff. From here, we've been practicing a lot on our headstands. So that's what we're gonna do now. Some of us know how to do it, some of us are still working on it, and that's great. So, remember, we're starting on our knees, hands right in front of our shoulders. From here, you're going to drop your hands down, make sure your elbows are tucking in towards your chest and your ribs, so they're not out like this, they're in and they're locked in. Once they're locked in, then you can place your head right in between your hands, and it should be the top of your head right here. Not your forehead, not the back of your head, just the top of your head so you can lay right on your head. So you go straight into the center of your hands. From here, you're going to start tucking your, your legs up. Once they're up, this is why it's important that your elbows are tucked into your chest, so it's easier for your legs, for your knees, to hook on to your elbows. So from here, what you girls are gonna do is come up. I always say, remember, do one knee at a time so you can see if you're stable. So what you girls shouldn't be doing is coming up right away. Yeah, because if you come up right away, you won't balance. So if you're working on your uh, headstand, just go one knee at a time. Balance, balance, and then from there, if you're comfortable, you can start coming up, 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 lock, and then come down. Remember I say the most important thing when we're in our headstand, don't move your head, because that'll hurt your neck. Also, it's important that we don't fall forward. You always want to fall back on your headstand, because you might hurt your neck or your back. So if you feel that, just try, you know, falling backwards. And make sure if you girls are doing this, you're doing this on a mat. Do not be doing this on hard floor, on rugs, on pillows, on your bed. Make sure that you're doing this on a mat, especially for your headstand. Stretches, it's okay to do like on your regular floor, but always make sure when you're doing your back walkovers, your front walkovers, your headstands, your elbow stands, your shoulder stands, everything's on a mat. All right, so make sure that we're stretching and doing all this, and I will see you soon, hopefully.